Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go for Agriculture. So in today's lecture 9 of Integrated Pest Management, we'll see Cultural Control Methods of Pest Management. So let's start with our lecture, Cultural Control. It is a practice of modifying the growing environment to reduce the pest attack. Here the growing environment ka matlab hai, jo factors hai. Pest ka growth ko support kar rahe hai. Jaisa soil hai, sunlight hai, crop hai. Ye sab pest ka infection ya pest ka growth ko influence kar rahe hai. So hum cultural methods mein environment ko change kar rahe hai taki pest control ho sakhe. Jaisa hum soil pH ko change kar sakhe hai. Irrigation practices ko bhi hum modify kar sakhe hai. And also we can change the amount of sunlight. Or hum fertilizer application ko bhi kam kar sakhe hai. Not, not only these, but also many practices were included in the cultural control. So now you can have a doubt how we'll do the cultural control. So a growing environment, like a crop, hai, soil, hai, man, you like many factors. Ye sab agricultural practices mein included hai. Iska matlab hai, hum agricultural practices ko modify karke pest ko control kar sakte hai. So we can control the pest by modifying the agricultural practices. Next is, what are the strategies on which cultural practices are based? So, there are three strategies. First is, make the crop unacceptable to the pest. Second is, make the crop unavailable to the pest. Third is, reduce the pest survival by increasing the natural enemies. So, these three strategies I will be discussing in the upcoming slides with the examples. So first is natural control. Up hum cultural control. Sorry, cultural control. Up hum cultural control me panne wale hai selection of site, planting design and management, maintenance of site and harvesting procedures. Selection of site ka matlab hai. In order to cultivate the crop, we have to select the land. So we should consider some things in order to select the land. So so what are the things we should consider? We'll be discussing in the selection of the site. Next is planting design and management. Planting design and management ka matlab hai, hum plants ko kaise grow karni hai, jaise plant spacing, kitni hona chahiye, what is the time of sowing, etc. These all will come under planting design and management. Next is maintenance of site. Is mein hum dekhenge crop ko kaise pest attack se hum bacha sakte hai. Like for example, um, management of the soil like tillage, hai, irrigation, hai, etc. These all will come under maintenance of the site. Next is harvesting procedure. In this we will see how to do the harvesting process. So these four are the topics we will be discussing in today's lecture in the cultural control methods. So let's start with selection of the site. So in selection of the site, it says that pest can be avoided by selecting a planting site. So, ye selection of the site ka main motto ye hai, hum plants ko grow karne ke liye ek land ko select karne hai. So, ye land ko select karne se hum pest ko avoid kar sakte hai. So, this is what selection of site is saying. But how? How will avoid the pest? So, there are four factors to be considered. First is history of the site. Second is site with abundant natural controls. Third is climate, soil conditions and weed species. And fourth is avoid stressing of the crop. So first we will see history of the site. So history of the site. So we can know that in this land mein previously kuch crop grow kiya tha. If yes, count a crop. And also is there any pest infected that crop. So with the help of all these information, we will decide that the pest ko grow or not. So if we get to know about the history of the site, so if that history is negative, so then we will be like, no, I don't want to grow any crop in this site because it is having a pest infestation. If it comes like, no, there is no pest in this crop in the previous uh, years. So then happily you can grow the your crops in that. Next is site with abundant natural controls. We know that natural enemies se zyada hai, like to control the pest. So, if land you want to grow the crop, it will be natural natural enemies, so it is a good thing. Because with the help of natural enemies, you can control the pest. 
सो दिस इज साइट विथ अबंडेंट नेचुरल कंट्रोल नेक्स्ट इज क्लाइमेट सॉइल एंड वीड स्पीशीज सो इट्स ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन द क्रॉप सो वेन यू सेलेक्ट अ क्रॉप यू शुड मेक श्योर दैट सॉइल इज फेवरेबल क्लाइमेट इज फेवरेबल एंड ऑल्सो दे शुड नॉट बी एनी वीड्स इन द लैंड सो सो दिस इज वाई दीज थ्री प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल नेक्स्ट इज एवॉइड स्ट्रेसिंग ऑफ द क्रॉप अगर हम क्रॉप को अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन में जैसे अनफेवरेबल सॉइल कंडीशन अनफेवरेबल क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन में तुम ग्रो करोगे तो इट विल लीड टू स्ट्रेसिंग ऑफ द क्रॉप सो सो इफ द क्रॉप इज स्ट्रेस देन इट इज एट्रैक्टेड बाई द पेस्ट एंड फाइनली द पेस्ट अटैक्स द क्रॉप सो दीज आर द फोर फैक्टर्स वी शुड कंसिडर ड्यूरिंग द सेलेक्शन ऑफ द साइट नेक्स्ट इज प्लांटिंग डिजाइन एंड मैनेजमेंट सो इन दिस फर्स्ट वील सी प्लांटिंग डेंसिटी एंड स्पेसिंग सो स्पेसिंग जो है इट विल इफेक्ट द प्लान ग्रोथ एंड द बेस्ट पॉपुलेशन लाइक मान लो आप प्लान टू प्लान स्पेसिंग जो है तुम बहुत कम दे रहे हो सो वी हैव अ चांस दैट दिस क्लोज प्लान टू प्लान स्पेसिंग मे अट्रैक्ट द बेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो देर आर सम बेस्ट विच विल बी अट्रैक्टेड ड्यू टू लार्ज प्लान टू प्लान स्पेसिंग so this will basically depend on the pest characteristics and also close spacing natural enemies ka kaam ko increase karega jaise natural enemies can easily kill the pest due to the close spacing aur ab hum dekhenge plant density pest ko kaise attract karegi like for example at the low density density ka matlab hai plant ka population so at the low plant density brassicas they will attract the aphids and also plant spacing karne se hum corn ko corn stalk borer se bacha sakte hain corn against corn stalk borer and also the most important role of plant spacing jo hai wo crop maturation ko increase karegi so fruiting it will be early theek hai so finally it will result in the early harvesting like if the crop maturation is early then the fruiting also will be early so finally the harvesting will also will be early so ye sab early hone se fayda ye hai ki south india mein farmers plant spacing ko use karke boll weevils and pink bollworms ko control kar rahe hain so this is one of the success story of the plant spacing next is time of sowing और हम टाइम ऑफ सोइंग को एडजस्ट करने से हार्वेस्टिंग टाइम भी चेंज होगा इसमें हम क्रॉप को पेस्ट इन्फेक्शन से बचा सकते हैं लाइक like, मान लो अगर प्लांटिंग टाइम एंड पेस्ट का एग्लेइंग टाइम दोनों सेम है जैसे आप क्रॉप को फेब्रवरी में कल्टिवेट करना चाहते हो और पेस्ट का एग्लेइंग टाइम भी फेब्रवरी है तो क्या होगा पेस्ट विल बी सॉरी क्रॉप विल बी इन्फेक्टेड बाई द पेस्ट और अटैक्ड बाई द पेस्ट so you change the planting time from like february to november like when november december jan feb but the pest ka egg-laying time to same hi hoga na so now what happens pest it cannot lay eggs on your plant because you know there are some pest they have a, a typical characteristics like uh, some pest they lay their eggs on the initial stages of the plant but now in this case you of a uh, plant like you have sown your uh, seeds in the in the november only but this pest it lays eggs in the february it means your crop has reached the maturation stage it means you are making your crop unacceptable to the pest this pest it does not accept to lay eggs on your mature crop so you are making your crop unacceptable to the pest so this is the so this is the first strategy in cultural control making the crop unacceptable to the pest because pest ka egg laying ka preference hai initial stage of the plant but now your plant is at the maturation stage so do the pest accept to lay eggs on your plant no it won't so you are making your crop unacceptable so this is the first strategy so now we'll see what are the examples of time of sowing so in the rice nurseries they should not sow before may to avoid the attack of rice borers 
and also sugarcane should be harvested before mid february to avoid egg laying of top borer because if we because uh, since the top borer egg laying capacity is at mid february only for suppose if you think if you sow your sugarcane in the mid february what happens your sugarcane will be infected by the top borer but in this case but but in this case your sugarcane is been harvested before mid february only so this top borer is not having any plan to lay its eggs so it's already dead so this is the use of time of sowing next is crop rotation crop rotation ka matlab hai growing different crops every year growing different crops every year agar maan lo tum crop rotation nahi kar rahe ho matlab tum har saal single crop hi grow kar rahe ho jaise rice every year you are growing the rice aur hame pata hai rice ka major pest hai rice stem borer so tum har saal rice hi grow karne se tum rice stem borer ko ek bharosa de rahe ho like a like you are saying the rice stem borer that i will be growing the rice every year so that you can happily attack my rice you are you know you are giving that uh, hint to the stem borer so what happens as a result tum stem borer ko food de rahe ho aur reproduction facilities bhi de rahe ho so pest ka population bad jayega so this is what happens if you don't follow the crop rotation so in order to control the pest population you should follow the crop rotation so crop rotation it uh, basically includes that grasses pehle hum grasses ko cultivate karenge and it is followed by legumes and then it is followed by the root crops theek okay? hai so in this crop rotation you are growing different crops every year iska matlab hai you are making the crop unavailable to the pest like agar maan lo like in 2020 you have cultivated a rice crop okay so now this year your rice has been infested by the rice stem borer so what your rice stem borer thinks is in the next 2021 also you will cultivate the rice it will think like that but you since you're a farmer and you're real clever so in the next year you have changed your crop to maize but what your stem borer thought it it thought that you will cultivate rice only in 2021 also it means you you fooled your rice stem borer it means you made rice not available to the rice stem borer because in the 2021 you have cultivated the maize instead of rice so this rice stem borer will be dead because its main host is rice but you have planted maize it means you made the rice unavailable to the rice stem borer in 2021 so this is the second strategy making the crop unavailable to the pest so this is comes under the crop rotation okay so now we'll see what are the examples of crop rotation like if we okra means bendi if the okra is following a cotton crop like like after cotton if you cultivate bendi this will increase the pest infestation so cotton should be followed with rice maize or groundnut so if you choose like cotton rice yes it's good and cotton maize and cotton corn groundnut so so in this pest infestation is very low so this is the use of the crop rotation growing different crops every year so this is crop rotation next is ma- management of the alternate host yahan pe alternate host ka matlab hai weeds क्योंकि वीट्स भी एक तरह की प्लांट्स है ना लाइक द वेराइटी ऑफ अ प्लांट मतलब होस्ट भी बन जाएगा पेस्ट के लिए फॉर द पेस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू इन्फेक्ट अ प्लांट इट शुड बी अ प्लांट ओनली सो वीट्स ऑल्सो कम अंडर अ कैटेगरी ऑफ प्लांट्स सो देर इज अ चांस दैट द पेस्ट आई मीन द होस्ट ऑफ द पेस्ट कैन बी अ वीड सो अगर हम अनकल्टिवेटेड लैंड में वीट्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकते हैं तो प्लांट को भी हम सॉरी पेस्ट को हम कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं लाइक इफ़ यू डिस्ट्रॉय द वीड्स इन द अनकल्टिवेटेड लैंड सो वी कैन कंट्रोल द पेस्ट 
so this management of the weeds help us to control aphids beet leaf hopper and raspberry cane borer trap crops trap crops ka matlab hai they are the crops which traps the insect like in the picture you can see in the borders like these yellow plants are the mustard or they are the trap crops and the middle portion green they are the main crops so there are two uses of this trap crops like we can say they work in a two ways so the first way is the pest which affect the main crop they will be diverted towards the trap crop so the main crop will be safe and the second is like see this is the trap crops and these are the main crops right so the pest which affect the main crops will be attracted towards the trap crops and the main crop will be safe and the second way the work is so we'll sow these trap crops very earlier than the main crop like first we'll sow the trap crops and later after some months we'll sow the main crop why we'll do that is when we sow the trap crops at first the insects they'll get attracted towards the trap crops because the main characteristics of the trap crops is to attract them attract the pest okay so when the insects get attracted towards the trap crop so So, so they'll be starting feeding on the trap crop only for some days, and after some months, when we um, sow the main crop in the middle in here, so when the at that time the insects they re they reach the reproductive stage. When they reach the reproductive stage, we'll be harvesting this trap crop. It means the insects also will be dead. So. we'll sow the main crop when the trap crop reaches the harvesting period because at the harvesting period only the insects reach the reproductive stage so that we can easily kill those insects in the egg laying stage only so this is the second way of working of the trap crops one is attracting and the second is the the trap crops gets destroyed before the insects reproduce like either they, they gets destroyed or they will be harvested so the examples of trap crops are okra is a good trap crop for cotton to attract jesset and spotted bollworms next is the same around cotton it attracts a red hairy caterpillar so this is the trap crops next we'll see maintenance of the site so till now we have seen the plant design and the management so now we'll see maintenance of the site so in this first method is tillage so tillage jo hai it is the mechanical manipulation of the soil matlab hum soil ko upar niche karte hain aur hum soil ko acche se management karne se hum pest population ko kam kar sakte hain and ye tillage ke wajah se insects ke larvae jo hai wo upar matlab wo soil ke upar aa jate hain so that we can easily kill them like for example wire worms so these wire worms when we do the tillage practices they will be destroyed in their habitat matlab place in their home only home matlab it's their soil soil is the home for the insects so they will be killed in their home and also sometimes we'll bury the plant residues so the crop residues jo hai or crop waste jo hai we'll bury them inside deep into the soil so if if those residues have the pest in them when we bury them deep into the soil you know they can't come back to the surface it will be impossible to them and they will be dead so maximum like eggs or for the pupae it will be impossible to come like for example grasshoppers field crickets beetles and mealy bugs they lay eggs in upper 5 to 10 cm in the soil so since they lay eggs in the upper 5 to 10 cm in the soil when we do the tillage operations like when we stir the soil so so they will be easily exposed onto the soil surface we can kill them or they will be exposed to the sunlight and they will be dead so this is the use of the tillage next is clean seed aur hame pata hai seed jo hai they are one of the main source for the pest transfer like for example if there is a seed so inside the seed there is a pest so when the seed becomes the plant so the plant also will be infected with the pest we all know that 
so the clean seed it means the seed should be clean without the pest and it is very important so in order to clean the seed we should do the fumigation process fumigation ka matlab hai placing the seed inside a room which is filled with the pesticide gas like this will be a room and inside we will be placing the seeds and we will be releasing some pesticide gas in into the room so this will ultimately kill the pest inside the seeds so the examples like how to clean the seed are hibernating larvae of pink boll worms in seeds of cotton can be killed by fumigation as i've told you now fumigation ka meaning next is fumigation of nursery plants to protect new orchards from infestation so in order to clean the seed the maximum like the good process is fumigation like with chemically in a short period of time so this is clean seed next is irrigation so irrigation ka matlab hai moisture so ye jo important hai insects ke survival ke liye so isme hum field ko flooding kar sakte hai like to control the insect and nematodes so you know irrigation is it's like artificially we'll provide the water you know like we'll provide to the pipes or we'll provide to the pumps it is artificially supplying the water to the plants is irrigation sometimes in order to control the pest like hum flooding kar sakte hai to control the insects and nematode and also hum sprinkler irrigation bhi karenge like is the another form of the irrigation so like in this picture you can see here with the help of the huge pipes and and, and literally flooding the each row of the plant like to kill the insect and the nematodes so after flooding the field this is how it looks so like for example flooding of infested soils in the northwestern part of the united states has been used to eliminate the some species of the wild worms within 3 days because the main source of the pest is soil so when the pest is present in the soil if we flood that soil the pest will be drowned and they are dead and also the the lucerne caterpillars can be killed by drowning the same with flooding also next is sanitation and crop residue destruction so sanitation ka matlab hai plant your crop ka waste hota hai na so we'll destroy the crop waste और वेस्ट को फील्ड से हटाना इज कॉल्ड सैनिटेशन मीन्स क्लीनिंग द एरिया सो इसमें हम वीड्स को डिस्ट्रॉय करेंगे एंड क्रॉप रेसिड्यूज को भी हम डिस्ट्रॉय करेंगे सो दिस सैनिटेशन इट इन्वॉल्व एराडिकेशन ऑफ हार्मफुल वीड्स एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द क्रॉप रेसिड्यूज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल शुगर कैन रिटूनिंग प्रोवाइड्स अ प्रोटेक्शन टू रूट बोरस and also cotton sticks they should be cut below ground to remove the stem borers so so cotton retooling ka matlab hai so after harvesting sorry sh- sugar cane retooling ka matlab hai so after harvesting the sugar cane the stem the stem of the sugar cane will again uh, s- will again plant in the soil so that from that stem only another sugar cane will come so in this retooling process if if the old sugarcane stem is infested so we'll uh, cut that and we'll um, so i mean and, and we'll plant it in the soil and also cotton sticks also should be cut below the ground level to remove the stem borders but this sanitation of crop residue should not be uh, in in the excessive rate because if the total crop residue if we do that it leads to wind erosion water runoff or soil moisture sometimes crop residues also play an important role like you know uh, mulching like rice husks or the wheat straws will will literally place them on the soil to to avoid the soil erosion so like mulching is like a part of the crop residues but not always crop residues uh being on the soil is useful because if the crop residues infected with the pest it leads to pest attack in the upcoming crop also next is pruning and thinning pruning ka matlab hai diseased or dead part of the plant ko hatana or remove karna and thinning ka matlab hai removing the 
uh, removing some parts of the plant to give space for the other plant parts to grow it's so and uh, pruning jo hai ye hai selective removal of the plant parts jaise branches buds so in the pruning we'll remove the diseased part of the plant so so even with the help of the pruning also we can decrease the rate of the infection it's like not to spreading the infection pruning helps to decreasing the spread of the infection from one part of the plant to another part of the plant like for example proper pruning of the undesirable portion of the citrus is useful to check citrus leaf minor and citrus red scale so in the citrus fruits these citrus leaf minor and citrus red scale they will easily spread from one uh, part to another part so if we do the pruning like if we remove the infected part of the citrus fruit or the citrus plant so the disease won't spread so this is pruning and thinning next is sowing of the resistant varieties so we know some varieties of the crops they are tolerant and they are less attacked by the pest than the other varieties isme tolerant ka matlab hai they are having the self tolerance self uh, you know self tolerance against the pest like for example gossypium arboreum it's a variety of a cotton so on so in this picture you can see like on this stem it have the hairy structures on its stem so this hairy structures it helps to be resistant against jacid white flies and ball worms so these varieties are self resistant from outside we are not giving them any kind of resistance they are self resistant so this is sowing of the resistant varieties next is manuring so hum fertilizers ko right profo so hum fertilizers ko right proportions mein dalne se plant healthy hoga like by putting fertilizers in the right proportions we can make the plants healthy like if we put the fertilizers in excess amounts this will decrease the strength of the plant like for example after sugarcane shoots they are attacked by the top borer if we apply the ammonium sulfate it induces the tillering and also early sown cucurbits in well manured fields they withstand the attack of red pumpkin beetles you know with the help of this manuring there are advantages and disadvantages also like if you see the advantages they help us to gain the strength and also they can be uh, we can able to control the pest whereas disadvantage is sometimes if we use them in the excess amounts the pest they can gain the resistance like even the how much we apply the fertilizer also the pest won't die at all this is called as gaining the resistance so so so, uh, so this fertilizers they should be applied in a minimum amount only so these are the maintenance of the site next is harvesting procedure so in this we'll say time of harvesting when we do the early harvesting we can disrupt or we can kill the survival of the pest and also they help in destroying the immature insects that are in the foliage so so in order to have the early harvesting it should be early crop maturation early fruiting and then only early harvesting will be so this early harvesting is completely dependent on the early time of sowing like in each and every crop if we do the early sowing or or you know sometimes late sowing also helps to control the pest actually depends on the crop only crop and the pest ka life cycle pe depend karta hai theek hai so this is the harvesting procedure so this is it guys so in today's lecture we have seen cultural methods of pest management if you have any queries you can just go back to the lecture and listen again so if you have any queries you can ask us in the instagram page or you can post in the comment section and also you can download this ppt from our telegram channel go for agriculture so till then stay care